Okay, guys, here we go. So I decided to uh, cast this because it was uh, probably the best uh, ever game I played. Uh, the limitless. It was uh, the uh, my it was my uh, Twitch chat uh, that uh, talked me into it. Uh, specifically, I or he likes to uh, you know, <laughs> kind of jokingly ask, "Will you play?" Limitless or P2 Stuko. Well, he won't talk me into playing uh, P2 Stuko because it's just a stupid prestige. But P3 actually worked pretty uh, good here. Okay, I was wondering uh, going for VOD or cast this from replay, but VOD, you know, it's lower resolution, so I decided to cast from replay. And also, this way, I can uh, uh, talk about the mutators a little bit more technical information. <coughs> okay. So I'm a P3 Abatur, he was a, a Kundalar Phoenix, and I'm doing usual Abatur st uh, stuff of uh, luring enemies, so I will need, of course, 100% uh, more biomass for first uh, ultimate evolution. Now, we have, of course, aggressive deployment, Avenger, and speed uh, freaks. I uh, already did one Abatur game for the video yesterday, that was uh, with, uh, like... With P2, with Tunneling Horror, or going Ravagers, kind of safe option. But actually, for most enemy composition, I think this is the best. Uh, at least, yeah, one occasion at Limitless might even be the best prestige because we have Speed Freaks and Avengers so you, uh, and aggressive deployment, so you need to be uh, fast. Deep Tunnel provides uh, speed mobili and mobility, well, map presence generally. Okay, so uh, aggressive deployment, uh, how it works is that uh, the enemies will deploy periodically on the map. So f yeah, it searches for combat units, queens are excluded, uh, and uh, if the, there are no uh, combat units uh, uh, found nearby, I mean, if, if there are no combat units on the map, then it will deploy at like distance from between 25 and 40 uh, of uh, the starting location. So it never deploys in your main base. It can deploy in your natural, especially if your natural is a little bit farther in your uh, main base, but uh, <coughs> it will never come directly here. It, can, it will spawn like here or here. It, this is especially dangerous because if it spawns here, uh, right uh, when the bots uh, can come out and you are not in position here, then they could destroy the bots. Um, and uh, yeah, first aggressive deployment will come at uh, 4 minutes 50 seconds and additional will deploy every uh, like uh, every next 2 minutes and 10 seconds. So like 4.50 and then at uh, seven minutes and then at nine at nine minutes ten seconds and so on uh, so that's aggressive uh, deployment yeah and yeah the wave is uh, like uh, the tech wave according to the uh, game time uh, the, the 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 tech in the wave and difficulty of the wave and it's split in half half of the, for one player and half of the other one okay so speed uh, Speed Freaks is, well, the simple to explain, everything moves at fixed speed of 5.5, so that's uh, actually the faster than any units uh, move. Uh, you might find old, expla old explains uh, that, uh, I mean, uh, enemy units have increased movement speed, uh, I mean, uh, on, uh, on, I think, uh, our master's site, you might find that they move uh, faster than anything player has in this position. Well, that's kind of obsolete because now when you have statmen, you can actually, like your zerglings and some other units also can move faster than that in a blue stat zone. Okay, now I finally got the Brutalisk. So you can see Ally is actually clearing the... Uh, I told them to take both bases. Did I tell him that already or, or not yet? I think I... Uh, no, I didn't tell him uh, yet, but I will tell him to take both bases. He's actually not interfering, which is good because enemy is perfect on position. Uh, okay, he came here, but I think he will be going somewhere else. 
to clear the map. Oh yeah, I tell, tell him to uh, take both bases. Uh, later discussion revealed that he actually didn't even know that he uh, shouldn't interfere over here. Okay, he is now here, but I'm pretty sure that he won't stick around. Okay, letting me to handle first three bots, which is good. I already built a Nidus, which will be good for the Queens. Okay, now I'm rallying just because I'm close over here. Okay, there goes the second aggressive deployment at seven minutes. Um, Avenger. Now, Avenger is the mutator that... Uh, well, you, when units nearby uh, die and the Avenger can be applied if unit is maximum distance is actually pretty short 1.25 squares from edge edge not center center of the units so uh, when unit dies uh, the unit uh, beside it will get the um, Avenger stacks according to that unit supply and uh, Avenger stacks provide 0.3 armor per, per stack, uh, one health and shield regeneration, and 10% uh, uh, attack speed. Maximum stack is uh, 10, so it means that uh, enemy unit with full 10 Avenger stacks will <coughs> have. Okay, this was beautiful. <laughs> this is a really good. I, I killed uh, most units here uh, with just Toxic Nest, meaning that I will get. Uh, 50% more biomass from each one. So yeah, full uh, with full, uh, immunity with full stacks will have a, a double health, uh, 10 health, 10 uh, health and shield regeneration per second, and uh, uh, double the attack speed and plus three armor. Okay, so uh, this is a boom. Yeah actually now uh, in, in order to do this uh, it's important to do this thing uh, go to options uh, gameplay and you see if you, this is checked i mean most cases you want to have it checked to uh, see the enemy stats and also if you disable this you won't be able to uh, see the allies uh, stats so if you want to see what upgrades our ally is doing and what's he producing is similar stuff you need to have this checked but if you play abattoir like this uncheck it because then if you are late to uh, uh, select uh, toxic nest before uh, enemies uh, walk to them towards them then you can actually box select them and uh, and then uh, de detonate them manually under the enemies without uh, actually selecting enemy units at top of them you know so that's uh, really important, and I always like to do it when, uh, when I play Abattoir. Okay, so now I am uh, here. <coughs> now I will, I think, detonate these guys, yeah. Boom, uh, all of them except this firebird. Okay, so as you can see, even as Limitless, I now have three Brutalisk plus Bahamas fra probably for the fourth one. Uh, no, I actually have four. With biomass to uh, oh yeah that's that's really good look at this I have oh yeah so now I have five brutalisks and I even have more biomass over here so a limitless is very cheap as I already did a guide video for this uh, and um, yeah you only need to get first the roach and then I then I pump queens you can also get roaches but uh, I pump then uh, queens because uh, okay let's cloaking be nice. Pump queens because uh, they can heal existing brutalists before they become brutalists themselves. And now it's pretty easy game. Okay, this is a, my portion of aggressive deployment at 11:20, and uh, Hell is dealing with his. <coughs> okay, and do bonus. This queen already has uh, 145, which is pretty nice. I think not, okay, this night is actually won't be needed, needed here, but <laughs> okay, I'm getting this one here, then this one here. See, I have a lot of money, I gave Eli both my bases, and now I'm getting the hive because uh, I need hive later for three. That's only thing where I need, don't need any hive tech, just uh, plus three uh, upgrades. Uh, hive is required. 
And then that's beautiful because you don't need you don't need a lot of tech. You just need queen upgrades and this uh, attack and armor upgrades and no additional tech. So this is very very cheap prestige. <coughs> and of course I'm getting Nidosis to have uh, queens insta delivered to the battlefield. But be careful because Nidus, unlike uh, carrying and some mega network, Nidosis are uh, top priority. So if enemy would deploy here, they would. Im they would prioritize uh, Nidus before attacking any of uh, my uh, combat units. Um, Nidus is our top priority for enemies. Okay, a carrier is actually in... Uh, has to be upgraded and in high numbers to be effective against bio, otherwise they uh, I could actually lose them all, so I have to help here. Yeah, he, it would be better if he actually went for... Uh, uh, Colossi against this and some immortals. Okay, and you can see that mobility is now. If I didn't have deep tunnel, this bot would be in trouble, but with deep tunnel, no trouble at all. And this is now pretty, pretty cool game. I have uh, six brutalists and enough biomass probably for one more, maybe even two. <coughs> Okay, it's toxicness here to kill these guys, and now Brutalist will spin. Okay, I shouldn't have moved actually. Uh, stayed here, but okay. And I just uh, deep tunnel in the middle of the chaos over here. A little bit of mending. We have this many Brutes. It's easy. Okay, another two Brutalists. That's very nice. Okay. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, now I actually don't have. Oh, I have two queens. Okay, and now I uh, get this, and I think I even uh, hotkey this to uh, yes now to number one. So okay, did I forget this one? Oh, boom. Okay, unfortunately that. Uh, okay, this uh, brutalisk is exposed. No, now the queens. Uh, that that's not good. Okay, queens are able to tank a bit. Now this is the only dangerous wave because now I have only eight brutalisks, and there are several fully stacked hybrids. So I believe I lost two brutes over here. Okay, maybe with a little bit of macro, I would be able to save both. For a split second, I would like I was like, will I lose this fight? But no, okay. yeah, he still have six brutalisks at almost full health. So that's. Uh, Pretty good, I lost two, but that's the only dangerous wave in the game. The, that last wave, last one at 28, uh, 30, uh, but then I would have at least like 50, 16 brutes, so it won't be a problem. Okay, so uh, let's speed this up. Okay, now it's, it's the best thing to do is just deep tunnel in the middle of them, because then symbiote don't have a big range. Okay, unfortunately there's a banshee there. But Ally does have uh, that. Uh, this uh, does he have detection for his? Uh, yes, he has for talent. Okay, yeah, bunch is the only thing that can could uh, cause me trouble. Science vessels cannot irradiate brutalists because they are heroic and can only irradiate things. So I'm back at eight brutes, and soon we'll, I will have more. Okay, also, okay, this was unfortunate. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to explode these guys uh, under these guys, but then I was there, so yeah, he was uh, fighting these guys. <coughs> I mean, so the meaning could okay. have nine, and this queen is healing them. Okay, ten. And uh, ten plus brutal is it's a really, really cool thing. Okay, oh, now that's aggressive deployment. Okay, now Ella has kind of. Enough carriers, let's see how uh, how well they are upgraded. Okay, now I actually can uh, select because I'm in a replay. So I can select everything. See how this siege tank is big now. Oh, that's a little bit late, but okay. No time for these guys to do anything. I mean, to kill the bot. Okay, now this is the main enemy attack wave, but this one is not very dangerous. 
can actually fall back from here. I need to heal a little bit. Oh, uh, <coughs> I lost my. I did. I did have uh, <coughs> one or two overseers, but I lost them to uh, that hybrid wave, and uh, now I don't have them. Okay, ready at uh, the queens, but okay, queens can heal each other. So, oh, now ally went saved me with the detection. Okay, now I have uh, 13 brutalisks, and as bonus is done, I just go in. I think I lost this one uh, over here, so that was the third brutalisk. Oh no, that that one. I think that yeah, Thor did a lot of damage to it. Okay, now it died. Now I have uh, 12, but it's still uh, good. I can clear this map pretty easy. Getting this thing over here. <laughs> Why is Ava so strong as ally? We have a uh, both Abba and he feels useless. <laughs> okay, he will actually learn how to play Abba. And to farm by us. Uh, so we have this little conversation here. Especially for this prestige. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. And this map is good, like this map and Malwarfare. Malwarfare might be even the best map for this prestige, but my missed opportunity is also pretty good. Now if, uh, if you get Robo composition, so or maybe like Terran Mech too, but uh, especially Robo, like River Disruptor or, Immort or Immortal Colossus, that could be a problem for this prestige in this uh, uh, occasion, because in Avenger Immortals really do a lot of damage, even without Avenger buff Immortals have a huge bonus against uh, uh, armored units, so they deal 50 50 damage per s actually no I think even more because they had a, they I think the, the attack speed is 0.8 so I think that's uh, more like 60 dps or so so that's uh, it's a lot okay but maybe it would even be good against immortal I mean then you have to do a better job with toxic nest even though maybe later in the game but uh, uh, with this uh, number of brutes I think I would be fine even against uh, robocomps okay I'm deep tunneling everywhere. Didn't even collect uh, now the, all the biomass. I have uh, 15 brutes. But I surely have biomass enough on the map to get at least like three more. So, so you can see this wave now comes, but with 15 brutes. I. And now aggressive deployment too, but I didn't lose anything over here. Like this is. Uh, and now. And just. Okay, I dealt with this wave. It's another one here. And queens are uh, getting me more brutes, so now I have, uh, now I believe I have 19. Now I have 20, and if I collected all this biomass, I would have like 22, 23, maybe even 24 brutalisks. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the game. 3, 3, oh, well, I even forgot that the plus 3 didn't complete, actually. I think I started it late. So that's it, like uh, Limitless uh, works pretty good over here, for most compositions it's probably the best prestige early game, you have to work a little bit harder with Toxic Nest, unless you have Zerglings, because Zerglings uh, always give the same amount, because Zergling is uh, half supply, so technically it already gives uh, double uh, the supply, so killed by, by Toxic Nest it won't yield anymore, and the same is for Pain Links. So if you get like Zergling comps, then just uh, get a Brutalisk and uh, a Brutalisk can kill them. Even with a Wedge Stax, Brutalisk can kill them pretty fast and won't, uh, you have two or three Brutes, uh, then Zerglings will die very fast without uh, inflicting a lot of damage to the Brutalisks. Okay, so uh, that's it guys, thanks for uh, watching, uh, actually let me show you the stats. Okay, so this was it. See that I carried my ally. Bonus is done. Yeah, I lost these three brutes. 24, so I had 21 in the end. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, brutal is small skills, but I did a very good uh, job early game with these toxic nests, which was pretty important. I got these five brutes, and then it was easy later. Then swarm hosts. I didn't. Uh, swarm okay I don't know what is this I did I never made look at this created zero okay these locusts are from sp spawned from dead enemies but swarm host I don't know this some kind of bugged stats or something maybe because of mutators I don't know 
Okay, queens, I lost four, but it's okay. They even had a few kills on their own. That's it, so toxicness, damage, symbiotability, improvement, and 327 split over here. That's even if I, if I have a double biomass chance, I would get uh, more brutalism, but I like symbiotability, like I have, I like them stronger because symbiotes are very important, like they deal 20 DPS and uh, without mastery and 40 with and also brutalists get uh, that temporary carapace of 200 and with uh, without mastery and with mastery 400 so uh, i always like when i'm going at ultimate evolutions to have a uh, actually stronger brutalist symbiotes are pretty important okay against bio i mean their hot attack is kind of more important but uh, you know, these hybrids and cleaning bases symbiotes are very good so uh, i always like to have the stronger brutalisk with uh, symbiote ability improvement mastery uh okay now that's finally it uh, support me on patreon if you wish or need help with co-op uh, like and subscribe if you like this and uh thanks for watching